in this video, we would learn to find the mean, sample standard deviation, and sample variance for the data using graphing calculator. So we are given data, and we would learn like how to put this data in the calculator, and then how to find this mean sample standard deviation and sample variance. So let's start. So over here, so press stat from the calculator and then it would uh, take you to the edit. Okay, so on the edit, like so you enter and it to bring in the list. So here you would feed your data here, right? So in the list one, for example, so I'm trying to feed our data. So that's a basic enter then 52 enter then i have 13 enter then i have 49 35 25 29 So I filled this data in list one, and now I will go to, okay again on stat, and then move this cursor to the calc C A L C, and then from here this one V A R stats one variable stat stays right. So this is number one option. Press enter. And then it would ask you that select your list. So our list is L1, so it's already there. If it's not, then you can okay bring in your list. And then frequency list empty, and then calculate. Let me bring in this to a little bigger screen. So this one, as you see. This X bar here, so this is 30. So this is the mean of this data. And then this S, X, so that's your standard deviation here. Right, so, so let me write this data down here. So again, mean is X bar, 30. And standard deviation is 14. So let me write it here. X bar would be 30 and standard deviation SX that is 14. And then variance, variance is S square. So that's 14 square. So that would be then 196. So because just the square of the standard deviation. So just one distinction say, if for example, your data is from the population. Then you have to perform the same steps. The only thing is that so your view would be the same as X bar. And then for instead of S, you have to look for the value of sigma. And then for population variance, so you have to look for sigma square. So sigma. So from this calculator, if you okay, bring in here again. So this and see under S, so this is sigma here, right? So sigma, if this data would have been from the population, so then instead of S, we would be picking the sigma X. So this would be then your standard deviation for the population, if your data is from population. Again, if data is from sample, so you just go to the S. And the mean for population and sample would be the same equation, right? So same number. So also, if you are looking for median, for example, for this data, so then scroll it down to this MED, right? So median, so that is equal to 30. So we use the symbol M, so M would be 30. 